Hi everyone, this is Dr. Manu Krishnan Ki and today we discuss about the anatomy of internal capsule. A large number of nerve fibers project from the cerebral cortex that is from the grey matter outside to interconnect with the subcortical centers in the brain stem and the spinal cord. And this compact bundle of fibers is collectively called as the internal capsule. So it's very easy to remember from the grey matter there are a lot of fibers which projects into the subcortical centers that is in the brain stem and the spinal cord and this compact bundle of nerve fibers is termed as the internal capsule and it consists of five parts that is the anterior limb, the posterior limb, the genu, the retrolendiform part and the sublendiform part. So let's see how they are arranged. So here we have a representation of the internal capsule. So this V-shaped which is having the angle outwards this is termed as the internal capsule through which the fibers projecting from the grey matter from the cortex to the subcortical structures are passing through. So here you can see it is composed of an anterior limb, a genu and a posterior limb and along with that you can see there are two structures here that is the medial geniculate body and the lateral geniculate body from there the medial geniculate body you can see the sublendiform part of the fibers are going below this blue colored area which is termed as the lendiform nucleus and this is the caudate nucleus represented by the term C here and this one here is the thalamus so there is anterior limb genu posterior limb and then you have the sublendiform part which is going below the lendiform nucleus and you have retrolendiform part which runs backwards from the lendiform nucleus so there are five parts the anterior limb the genu posterior limb the sublendiform part and the retrolendiform part so let's define the anterior limb. The anterior limb lies between the caudate nucleus medially and the anterior part of lendiform nucleus laterally. And the posterior limb lies between the thalamus medially and the posterior part of the lendiform nucleus laterally. And the genu is nothing but the angle which joins between the anterior and posterior limbs. And the retrolendiform part, the sum fibers of the internal capsule which lies behind the posterior end of the lendiform nucleus, they constitute its retrolendiform part. While sum fibers which passes below the lendiform nucleus is termed as the sublendiform. Sub means below. So these are the things you have to remember about the parts where they are located. And you can see the structures. This one is a caudate nucleus here. Then you can see this blue color area, the triangular wedge shaped area that is nothing but the lendiform nucleus which is composed of two parts, the outer putamen and the inner globus pallidus. And here you can see the yellow colored part that is a thalamus and the medial geniculate body and the lateral geniculate body as well. So these are the structures which come in relation with the internal capsule. And the internal capsule is composed of two types of fibers, namely the ascending fibers or corticopetal fibers and the descending fibers or corticofugal fibers. So these are the two types of fibers which are present in the internal capsule. And the fibers passing through the capsule may be ascending or descending. It can either be ascending or descending. So, more specifically, in each parts of the internal capsule, there are certain fibers passing through it. So, let's see which are the fibers passing through each parts of the internal capsule. So, the anterior limb, the fibers to and from the anterior part of the frontal lobe is passing through that. While the fibers to and from the posterior part of the frontal lobe and from the greater part of the parietal lobe passes through the genu or the angle 
which joins the anterior limb and posterior limb and a part of posterior limb also constitutes with the same fibers here then the fibers to and from the temporal lobe will be passing through the sublendiform part while the fibers to and from the occipital lobe passes through the retrolendiform part of internal capsule so these are the main fibers which are passing through each parts of the internal capsule and the arterial supply of the internal capsule it receives blood supply from the branches or the medial and lateral striate branches of the middle cerebral artery so you have to remember this names because we will be discussing that later when we explain the circle of willis which is an important topic so here you just try to remember the names the medial and lateral striate branches of the middle cerebral artery then the recurrent branches of anterior cerebral artery and the anterior choroidal artery then direct branches from the internal carotid artery and the branches from the posterior communicating artery so these are the major branches which supply the different parts of internal capsule and the clinical anatomy of internal capsule being a place where there is a condensation of or a bundle of fibers are present which are running from the cortex to the subcortical centers if any blood supply uh, like it is getting blocked it is getting occluded by any thrombus or an embolus then that condition is termed as the cerebrovascular accident or the stroke syndrome and the internal capsule being a condensed area so if any like a occlusion in the blood supply is happening over there that can cause extensive results over the body and even in that case the patient develops contralateral hemiplegia of sudden onset there will be paralysis of the contralateral side opposite side of the body and uh, that happens if the dominant hemisphere is involved so this is the clinical anatomy of the internal capsule thank you